And we're back. We'll just swing it. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for uh, checking us out. And we're with Barrett. And uh, he, he comes up with some interesting planes. And Barrett, this is your your brand new plane. This is the Grumman AS2 Guardian. AF2. Ta A oh, okay. AF2. Yeah. Uh, talk to us about this. Well, the uh, at the end of the war, the Navy wanted a uh, next generation Avenger yeah. follow-on. And Grumman put forth the Guardian. And Let me come on the other side. You keep, keep, keep. Keep Grumman talking, yeah. The uh, AF2 Guardian. Yeah. And the jobs of the Guardian were so were kind of too much for one airplane. Sure. So they divided them into two different variants: the AF2S and the AF2W. The AF2W, called the Guppy, had yeah. a big bulge down here for search radar. Yeah, I've seen pictures. Yeah. Okay. And that was the Hunter. Okay. And the AF2S was the killer. It ah. would have a searchlight. Yep. A night fly a radar yep. dome under under each wing. Yep. And it carried the ordnance that would kill the submarines. So the AF2W would find a submarine. Sure. And the AF2S would come in and kill it. And they flew in pairs. Hunter okay. Killer pairs. Oh, they flew pairs. Yeah. This Hunter was, killer teams. Yeah. The uh, wow. The Guardians were the precursors to the Grumman Trackers. Ah. Uh, the S3 Vikings. R absolutely. So th the um, the Guardians flew off of um, tiny escort carriers. It's really ironic. The largest single engine carrier plane flying from the smallest carriers. Right. But that's the Navy had the smaller carriers after World War II set up for anti submarine. Yeah. They're called Jeep carriers, I think. Those yeah. small, little tiny ones. Yeah. yeah. So um, this aircraft, this particular aircraft, is painted up like Admiral James. Future Admiral James Stockdale's wow. uh, Guardian, which is currently on display at the Mesa Wing of the Commemorative Air Force okay. in Arizona. Yeah, there it is. I got I got that that marking. That's beautiful. Yeah. And she's out here for her her first try to fly. There you go. There you go. Well, let's get her up in the air and see how she does. Now, normally Barrett's planes fly really good, so we shall see. I have no aerodynamic rudder though, only tailwheel. Oh, okay. So it's a bit of a gamble. It's a <laughs> bit of a gamble. If I get in the air, I'll be fine. There, oh yeah, once she's in the air, it's good. Let's see. Left bank, yeah. right bank, ground. pull up, push down. Ooh, oh. I eight, might give myself a little bit more elevator. It's a beautiful plane. All right, All right. taxing out. So Grumman, AF2 Guardian. Alpha, Alpha Foxtrot, right? Yeah. Okay. These are really neat planes. Uh, there was a time when reciprocating engine aircraft and jets coexisted, and all was well, well in the world. When originally conceived, the Guardian was supposed to be combination propeller and jet powered. Oh, wow. The earliest prototypes had jet engines in the tail. Really? Yeah, okay. they decided they didn't need the extra speed. Sure, sure. Taking off. Landing from the right. Uh oh. There you go, baby. Good job. Yeah. William giving you some props. Giving you some props. Giving okay, Dad. I reserve the right to retrofit this thing with an aerodynamic rudder after this event. You do. You you are the builder after all. <laughs> but as you can see. <laughs> people hear people get you know people ribbing them but uh we're, we're out back out here at st george utah this is the john morgan electric fun fly uh, every year we have an electric fun fly and this has been going on for years uh, well over a decade and um in fact golly in a few short years we'll be approaching 20 years and it's really just an impromptu gathering of friends and and barrett is it's just so stable. See, Guardians. Is, is it? Is it? Is it? Real? What do you? What are you thinking, pilot builder? What are you thinking? It's very stable. This is my third Guardian already, and you okay, just, you just can't go wrong with Guardians, man. Yeah, and they got three tails. Yep. Once I was you get in say. the air, <laughs> once you get in the air, <laughs> the yaw stability is very nice. Now, did your others have a aerodynamic rudder as well, or no? What's no. That? But did the other? Oh, the others were hand launched, weren't they? That's right. Uh huh. So need no. Rudders. No. The first one crashed in a limbo contest. A <laughs> the second one is a micro, like 30-inch wingspan, right. nice and small. Yeah, I still have that one. And then I decided, you know, I want a bigger one. This yeah. time I'm going to put landing gear on it. 
And I again, didn't say this time I was going to put a rudder on it. I said this right. time I'm going to put landing gear on it. Sure. And again, this was modeled after the plane that future Admiral uh, Stockdale would be fl uh, flew. Yep. So. Passing low. No, that low. Oh, Barrett, this thing's so rock solid. So nice and slow. And yeah. Hey, watch out for that wooden pole, will you? <laughs> After it lands, you got to check out the ratio of aircraft length to yeah. wingspan. It's it, just—it's a really long wing. Oh yeah, it's a, just a big, big. You know what? Grumman's always have that friendly wing, right? They—they. They, They've utilized essentially the same wing design if you look at plan forms in almost all their aircraft from the Wildcat on. You have Wildcat, Hellcat, Avenger, Guardian. They all share the same general, well, heck, let's just say it, Bearcat, Tiger, they all have that same basic Grumman wing. Well, they, they squared off the wing tips pretty well, make yep. them nice and perform well at lower speed. Sure. Grumman knew how to design carrier planes. They did. Grumman Ironworks, right? They knew what they were doing. Um, so when we're talking aerodynamic rudder, ladies and gentlemen, what we're saying is that there is this vertical off the aft end of the aircraft, but they don't always have an actual rudder that can turn the aircraft. So there is a difference between a rudder and just a vertical. The rudder would be the control surface. So when Barrett and I are, are bantering back and forth, I just want you all to understand what we're talking about. Um, so that's what we're talking about. This plane does not have an actual rudder, but it does have the vertical, so Barrett well, more than likely, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, add a rudder to this plane. On the ground, it steers with tail wheel. Yeah, on the ground, it's steering with a tail wheel. Tail wheel Let's only. The tail wheel. Looks up and then William, where, where did you get that from? He's dead on, by the way. Once the tail wheel lifts off, though, now we, we run into different problems. And the tail wheel lifts up in, like, a matter of one second. Correct. <laughs> so, and, by, and by the way, Barrett, boy, that tail sure lifted quick. I <laughs> God. Yeah. Well, when I realized I was going to be so squirrely trying to take off, I just said, okay, point it towards the dirt and go full throttle. Yep. Just go for it. Yep. And it worked. It did. Uh, hey, Specs, so how big a wingspan? What's she flying on? Because inquiring minds are going to want to know. Uh, Power 25 Outrunner. Yep. Uh, wingspan 60 inches. Wow, big size. Three cell, 4,000 lipo in there. Did you forget it was a tomato? Three cell, four thousand. You know, I'll tell you what. Here's another thing, ladies and gentlemen. Barrett's planes are all testimony that you don't need big, big batteries to fly because almost all of his bigger creations fly on three cell batteries. It's just amazing. It really well, is. Well, that's the beauty of foam. Yes, you can build them really light. Foam. Beautiful plane. Uh, markings are those of uh, future Admiral uh, Stockdale when he was a pilot. And this was a. Grumman AF-2 Guardian. This was the killer of a pair of ships, uh, as, as Barrett has explained earlier in the video, that these operated in pairs, 100 killer teams. One was, they had the radome underneath and found the submarines, and then this one would carry the actual weapons that would destroy those submarines once they were found. I just thought the guppy version was too ugly to build. It, it, <laughs> Oh, yeah, th this coming from the man who flies Conestogas. Okay, got it. Oh, hey, I mean, at, least, at least you spared me the gigant. <laughs> uh, I got my limits, man. I, I got to have limits. Although, I'll, I'll be honest, what, the Love real it. reason I built the S was because the airplane at the uh, CF Museum in Mesa. Sure. No, but that kind of stuff is too cool. We're, we're going to feature that as well. I'm going to fly that one uh, next. Sure, sure. And we got Landing, the, by the way. All right, Barrett, stick it, buddy, stick it. Oh, come on. Come on. And ladies and gentlemen, I do want to say, by the way, good job, Barrett. Thank good you job. Fly, huh? Yeah, he did, did well, huh? So, uh, yeah, good job. All right. Congratulations, brother. All right. Yeah. So, by the way, this was his, uh, shh, I'm supposed to be quiet. This was his maiden flight. <laughs> this airplane, you can tell he is stoked. That's one happy pilot. All right. What do you say, Barrett? Well, after a pilot's up high rep, after comments, say, how'd she fly? I say I finally got back to having a good guardian. All right. All right. And that's enough said on that one. It's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're at the John Morgan Electric Fun Fly. We're in beautiful uh, St. George, Utah. 
This is the John Morgan Electric Fun Fly 2021. Cheers and all the best from Just Wayne.